Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to check out and review the glass protector from Whitestone. It's the dome glass protector for the OnePlus 9 Pro, made specifically to cover the curved edges on the display. Now, recently I did the video of the official glass protector from OnePlus. This one's made by a third party since OnePlus no longer makes glass protectors for any of their devices that have a curved display, meaning curved edges on the display. This is TK. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's my review of the dome glass protector for the OnePlus 9 Pro. Let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. This is the package that I received. It's again made by Whitestone, the dome glass protector for the OnePlus 9 Pro, specifically for the 9 Pro. The OnePlus 9 does have an official glass protector made from OnePlus. You're able to pick up directly from their website. And I have another video that I'm going to link for you guys at the top right there in case you'd like to see the glass protector for that device. It's already installed on this. And of course, you could definitely reinstall it, correct it if you have any problems. But today we want to talk about the 9 Pro. OnePlus no longer provides glass protectors for any of their devices with curved edges. So we need to look at companies like here with dome glass from Whitestone to be able to get those protections. And one thing to keep in mind, full response, this actually covers the entire display, full clarity, and it's full adhesive. The adhesive goes all around inside and everywhere. It's not just on the edges. And of course, full filling, that's what we talked about. They use a UV light kit that's included here. And of course, the best part about this, it's actually a two piece kit, meaning if you for any reason you damage the glass protector you can remove it clean it and reapply it and they provide you with all of the necessary materials to do two separate installations on your oneplus 9 pro now when it comes down to the materials that we get here they include everything that you need um, all the way from the two pieces of glass the adhesive or the tape that you need to cover up the ports on the side as well as the uh, materials that you need to clean the display the chamois the liquid adhesive as well as the uh, an actual uh, nice little element to protect the, uh, the camera elements on the back of the display which is definitely something very nice and so you essentially getting protection on the front and on the back uh, the installation process is very simple. Just get into a situation or a place where there is no dust and of course a clean area that is level. Uh, spread up your, uh, your, your materials and go ahead and remove the glass protector or the screen protector that's already pre-applied. Clean up the display and then of course put the device inside of the case or the frame that they provided us. Now the frame can only fit the OnePlus 9 Pro as you could see and once you have that in make sure you go through clean the display one more time with the wet towel and then dry it up with the uh, dry towel that they provided us. Uh, there is a small piece that you need to attach to the top of the frame which allows you to actually put in that piece of adhesive that you cover up the earpiece. You will also need to use the black tape that they provided to cover up the rest of the ports that are available here. So the sides on the right, left, top and bottom, you cover those up and then you're able to insert that. A couple of sponges on the right and left to absorb any excess adhesive that may fall off and you're pretty much set to go glass protector and you put the stopper at the top uh, you go ahead and release the adhesive from the top allow the glue to land it's going to land on the top part of the display and then you bring the, uh, the liquid adhesive down to the center once you have that in you can go ahead and put in the glass protector release it with the top cap and allow it to fall and of course allow the adhesive to permeate throughout the display all the way to the top and the bottom it takes about maybe 30 to 40 seconds once you have that done, you're pretty much 90% done of the way there. Um, you just need to use the UV light with any pa uh, power bank or direct connection to the wall and turn it on with the first setting, which turns it on for 15 seconds. I recommend you doing top, middle, and bottom. And once you have that section done, you're pretty much set. You remove it out of the, uh, the actual frame, clean up any excess adhesive, and then you run it with the second stage, which allows you to run it for the double press. And that's about 30 to 45 seconds. Run it again, top, middle, bottom. And then at that point, you're pretty much set. Uh, re turn on your device at that point and then of course go ahead and clean up any excess adhesive and you're pretty much set the experience is very very simple now as far as the glass element cover on the back it's pretty easy clean up any uh, element on the top with any dust and particles that could be left over and then the the cover that they provide us is actually adhesively uh, matched to the lens on the back because we have different elements there, it's easy to line it up. And once you have it in, it fits perfectly. Now, when it comes down to the actual form and fit, uh, one thing to keep in mind, that this glass does not go all the way to the edge of the device, allowing us to use it with cases at, that are maybe in, uh, a little bit thicker on the edges. Uh, with this case, as you notice, it looks really nice. The element covers the glass on the back, as well as on the actual case itself, once you put it inside of it. And then you'll notice there's a small gap on the top and bottom, as well as on the edges. This gives us the ability of enjoying using our device without having to worry about using it with cases. So we have protection on the front, the back, and of course, the elements on the back with the camera lenses. I've used dome glass for many years, uh, primarily on my Samsung devices, my OnePlus devices, and of course, all of the other devices that they carry. 
The main thing I'd always say is that make sure that you're in a clean environment that is level because you do need to be able to use, when you release the adhesive at the top, you want to be able to bring it into the center. Once you have that in, for the most part, all of their installation kits, with the exception of the S21 Ultra, which was the only one that I've seen that is mechanical, um, it's pretty simple. You just release it, allow the adhesive to go through, clean it off, run the actual UV light, and you're pretty much set. Uh, it works really nice on my OnePlus 9 Pro, and of course now with the robot case, it nice, has a nice protection on the back, not just for the case, but also for the actual elements, and of course on the glass on the front. Looks really nice, and I always recommend using glass protectors. That's always my default. Uh, but again, OnePlus no longer carries curved display uh, glass protectors. They did, I think, for one of, their, one of their devices, but unfortunately they had too many problems. The OnePlus 9 does have an official one. Again, a link for that will be in the description below. But for this, of course, let me know what you guys think of the OnePlus 9 glass protector from Dome Glass. Like and subscribe as usual. Links will always be in the description below. Thank you very much for the support, and I'll see you in the next video.